Hello friends, this is Kyle from Genki Gamers and today we're going to go over how to use the mine. The mine is a high damage zone control weapon that can force opponents into bad situations or catch them by surprise. They currently stay on the map for a minute and 30 seconds before automatically exploding and there's no limit to how many you can place on the map at once. A strength of the mine is that it does incredible amounts of damage with every hit, but the real reason to use them is for zone control. Some of the downsides of mines are that better players are usually more aware of them and will avoid hitting them completely. Mines are also pretty useless in direct combat because you can't just throw them on an enemy in a fight. Lastly, there is currently no way to differentiate between your team's mines and the opponent's mines which may confuse your teammates. However, this drawback also applies to any mines that your opponents place so that they will also be unsure of who placed the mine. The best perk to use is the Mine Damage perk, which adds a percentage bonus to your mine's total damage. There are also many mine related talents under Blastion's skill tree, so be sure to get those if you really want to maximize your mine's power. Now, let's talk about when and where to use it. The best ship to use mines on is the shooter because it has the most weapon slots and can benefit greatly from controlling the nearby area. You can also use them on the other ships, but you don't really want to use them if you only have two weapon slots on your ship, because you end up only having one weapon that can deal damage in a head-to-head -head battle. As mentioned before, the main reason to use the mine is to control the map. The best area to place your mines are in choke points or near walls. By placing them in a choke point, you effectively force your opponents to take another route than the one they were planning to take. By placing them near a wall, you force your opponents to travel around the mine on the far side of the wall, which will waste their time and may put them in a bad situation. Don't waste too much time trying to get the perfect placement for all your mines. It is better to get more mines out than to worry about the exact spot to put them in. Also, if you are in fighting range of the other team, your primary focus should be on using your other weapons to deal damage, instead of placing mines. Save your mines for when you aren't needed to deal damage or your other items are on cooldown. Here are some tips and tricks on where to place your mine. Place your mine directly on top of a fixer's repair boxes. The box will hide your mine from your enemies and your opponent will want to go over the box to remove it from the map, leaving them with a deadly surprise. You can also hide your mines on burning ships, but this isn't as effective as players usually aren't trying to go near sunk ships unless they are using it as cover. Many maps have grass and other foliage that can help hide the mines. Toss a few in there to keep them hidden. The last message I want to end this video on is to never use more than one mine on your ship. I know at some point we've all seen a player that's using only mines and placing them around the map. Maybe you've tried this strategy yourself, but this really isn't a good strategy if you want to climb up the leaderboard. Having multiple mines takes away a lot of useful damage in a fight and the additional map control is almost never worth the loss of damage. That's all for today. Let me know in the comments below what weapon guide you would like to see next. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like below and subscribe for more Battle Bay videos. Bye friends!